<laughs> this is a dead serious NFL team builder. I will be predicting how good these NFL teams will be in 2019. Also, welcome to the new setup. This is kind of beautiful. I love this place. I'm, I'm falling in love with this. Like the first video I've recorded in here. Now, admittedly, this is a loft. So it's like, I am flexing on you. Really tall ceilings. Uh, so it's kind of echoey. And if you don't like it, then you can go watch your boy pizza, which I know you won't do because you don't hate yourself. Thank you very much. All right, let's get into the video. Okay, let's start out with the obvious ones. New England Patriots. D tier. <laughs> Tom Brady kisses his son on the lips, and I'm pretty sure he was alive when the dinosaurs went extinct. Fat L. Detroit Lions. S tier. Matt Stafford, elite, top three quarterback in the league. Darius Slate, elite, top three cornerback in the league. I was gonna keep doing that for a lot of players, but we. <laughs> who do I? Who do we even have that I can make that about? Oh, what's our what's our rookie's name? T.J. Hawkinson, rookie of the year. Next Gronkowski. Matt Stafford throwing to the next Gronkowski with the best cornerback in the league on our team. Fourteen and two is my win predictions, and we'll make it to the Super Bowl, but lose. But at least we'll make it. Did the Bengals get a new logo, or did whoever make this tier list is there? They're just being a head ass. I don't know what that's there for. All right, Oakland Raiders, S tier. Did you know that the greatest quarterback in football, Nathan Peterman, was recently signed by the Oakland Raiders? I don't even know if that's true or not, what I just said, but if Nathan Peterman's on the team, 100% S tier. Hmm, who else do we got? Green Bay Packers, D tier. Did you see Aaron Rodgers try to chug that beer? That was the saddest shit I've ever seen. I was embarrassed. D tier. And the Next time I have a fat beer, I'll pound it just to make fun of Aaron Rodgers. But also I won't do that because I'm a good role model. I will pound some water though to stay hydrated. Okay, okay, this is probably the only serious one I've done so far. Kansas City Chiefs legitimately S tier. I love that team, I want them to go far. Patrick Mahomes has to keep playing well. I don't really know what, can someone fill me in on the Tyreek Hill situation? I'm not researched on it. I know he did get a charge, but can he still, he's still on the roster and he can still play, right? It's all, all I know. What even is this team? Is this the Browns? Okay, the Browns don't have a new logo, right? Someone's just being a head ass. I am gonna legitimately put the Browns at A tier, which is almost too high. Yes, they are playing better, and yes, they did sign Odell, but <sighs> they're getting way too hyped up. Like, they're way too overhyped right now. Do you guys remember when the Los Angeles Lakers assembled that God Squad of Kobe Bryant, Dwight Howard, Steve Nash, Pau Gasol, and I'm pretty sure they either got swept in the first round of the playoffs or didn't even make it. That's how I feel about the Browns. They're A tier because they're still gonna be a good team in the league and they'll play better than last year, but I don't, everyone's shitting up their pants like they're gonna win the Super Bowl. I don't see that happening. Maybe I'm wrong, but. Um. Do it! Just do it! Yeah, you have to put them S tier. You'd be dumb to not put them in S tier. Ah, shit. See, here's the problem is I wasn't being serious about some of these teams. I'm being serious about others, but yeah, whatever. Okay, let's get serious. Um, Jets. I'll put Jets in B tier. They have two of my favorite players in the league, Jamal Adams, Le'Veon Bell. That doesn't make them good, though. You need a absolutely godly quarterback to be either A or S tier in the league. It is so hard to be good in the NFL without a good quarterback. Like, your whole team can be amazing. If you don't have a good quarterback, it's tough. It's not impossible, it's tough. The Ravens have been doing it forever with Joe Flacco, who sucks balls. The big, the thing that pisses me off more than anything, when people tell me that Joe Flacco is elite, Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Joe Flacco is not elite. Honestly, I don't have very good football knowledge. I don't know how, how well. 49ers, C tier. If you're in C or D tier, I don't have much to say. You're kind of like the Lions. You just don't have enough going for you. Dolphins, C tier. Giants, oh my god. Huge L's, bro. Huge L's, D tier. I'm sorry, D tier. Titans, C tier. Steelers, uh, the Steelers are always so good, but the Big Ben keeps getting older and they don't have Antonio Brown. Juju is awesome. 
but it's not like Big Ben is getting better at football. Ah, I'm gonna piss people off, I'm going B tier. I actually don't really give a shit. <laughs> Buffalo Bills uh, S tier, they had Nathan Peterman. So if you have or have had Nathan Peterman S tier. Cardinals, fucking trash. And <laughs> they're absolute trash. And even Kyler Murray, even if he plays excellently, he cannot save them from how trash they are. D tier. Bears, A tier, 100%. A tier. Um, okay, let me let me adjust this. I was being kind of a dick, but let me adjust this to how it legitimately should be. Patriots are definitely still S tier. Lions are Lions are C tier. They're not D tier. Packers. Packers are actually almost D tier, but they're C tier with the Lions. Raiders. I'm keeping at C tier. I don't care if you got Antonio Brown. You're still C tier. Chiefs. Ra okay. Bills. You're D tier. Uh, those are the only three teams I would really put in S tier right now. I don't think there's another team that I would feel confident putting in S tier. B tier, I put the Panthers. Seahawks, oh, but Doug Baldwin just, Doug Baldwin retired, and they don't have Frank Clark anymore, I don't think. I'm gonna go B tier on the Seahawks. Chargers, Chargers will soon be S tier. I don't wanna go crazy, put them in S tier right now, but the Chargers are a sick team. Same with the Vikings. The Vikings are actually so good. They did not play as well as they should have last year, but the Vikings have a squad. Like the Vikings team, in terms of talent, is top five in the league. Like talented players. Xavier Rhodes, Everson Griffin, Daniil Hunter, Kirk Cousins, Stefan Diggs, Adam Thielen, Harrison Smith, that, like, the Lions have probably two actually elite players in the whole league, which is Stafford and Darius Slay, and the Vikings have upwards, like, dude, uh, Eric Kendricks, who's their other linebacker that's really good? They have, like, eight elite players. The Vikings squad is super good. Bengals, honestly, Bengals are in as big of a drought as the Lions right now. I gotta put them C tier. Buccaneers are C tier. It's hard to be in D tier, it's hard to be in S tier. You have to be really shitty to be in D tier. Redskins, C tier. They, yeah. Denver Broncos need to do something. They basically are just riding off the fact that they had that really good Super Bowl squad and then they haven't made any drastic or good improvements. So I'm keeping them C tier. Falcons are B tier, but they're not getting any better either. They're just, they're good players that are just getting older. That's all that's happening. They do have Calvin Ridley, that's nice. We'll see how Matt Ryan plays. I want the Texans to be so good. I want to put the Texans in A tier. Uh, I really want to put the Texans in A tier, but I can't. I have to go B tier. Saints, A tier. Saints are sick. Drew Brees is pulling a Tom Brady and still being super good despite being super old. A tier for sure. These last ones are kind of hard for me. Uh, Dallas Cowgirls, C tier. No, thank you. Eagles, uh, I'm putting Eagles A tier. I'm putting Jaguars B tier because you need an elite quarterback. Sorry. Ravens A tier. Ravens squad is sick. If Lamar Jackson plays like a very legitimate good quarterback, the Ravens are super good. And the same with the Colts. The Colts can be very, very, very good. They did well in getting actually a pretty solid offensive line. They have a lot of very good skill players. You just need Andrew Luck to be Andrew Luck. I like this entirely. I'm not switching anything. This is, this is beautiful. If you don't like, listen up, listen up, bitch. If you don't like my tier list, <laughs> Actually, if you don't like my tier list, I, I, I will give you one of these personally if you don't like my tier list. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Go, fuck yourself! <laughs> I'm highly confident in this. You know what I might do? I might do something where I come back and look at this tier list and like compare it to how the NFL actually panned out. So, I mean, I could be a total moron and this could be the worst thing ever, but it's whatever. Let me know your boys' thoughts. I will just be really pumped one day if the Lions ever make it out of C tier. We've been C tier for 60 years, I would say. That'd be pretty accurate. All right, I love you all. Thanks for watching as always. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.